Well, India, <laughs> it's a combination of uh, different factors. First of all, uh, we want to do something which is meaningful you know, uh, with regard to society, underprivileged people, etc., etc. But on the other hand, we wanted to do it in a place where we want to grow our business. And uh, we start our business uh, roughly about 10 years ago in India, so it was for us uh, a new territory. Uh, and we said, okay, if we want to grow here, we have to have a supply of people who are uh, installing our products, or which are recommending our products, which are knowing our products. So, and uh, there are different uh, strategic approaches, but we said we start from scratch, we start with the installers because installers are a very uh, important uh, group for us, a customer group. So uh, if we uh, train people to become plumbers, installers, then they will recommend our brand. That was the idea. And um, at the moment we are uh, employing uh, around about 150 uh, technic technicians uh, here in India, but right from the beginning, right from the first second we said, we will uh, go in the direction of 1,000 people we want to train. So you see, right from the beginning, we had in mind that we do some much more for the market than we could do, uh, use from our, for our own. And uh, that is the difference between the normal uh, engagement of companies and ours. And that's why we got the innovation prize from the German ministry, uh, because we uh, said we train for the market. We train and we do something for the people, but we will get benefit later on in the long run mm -hmm. uh, because we are so convinced that people will recommend us later on. If they are, uh, are in a position to recommend a product or brand, then they will recall that they got their basic training from for, and then uh, and this is a kind of a lifelong partnership, that's the idea. And it's not just to train people for all of those.